this is your year of just saying yes. Yes. What's that mean to you? So I just came out of my year of no. Okay. <laughs> you have to do, you have to do no's. You gotta go through your no's. That was more so me working on being discerning and asking okay. for what I want. But my year of yes, my it's particularly my year, year of hard yes. Oh, right. Because I'm grateful to be in a space where I have opportunities coming my way, but I realized I wasn't focusing on what was fulfilling. And so the one thing my mama helped me do is literally anytime I have an experience I love start to finish, we write it down. We try and figure out what was it about this experience? What mm. was it about this thing so that we can recreate that? Right. Uh, and so it's ranged from like the color yellow, which you look fabulous by the way. Thank you, mama. Um, the fact that I love music and concerts and actively prioritizing those things. I was that person that could talk myself out of anything for okay. myself like if for the sake of being more responsible like I was the one that sat in and pulled all-nighters to do homework and didn't go so out So how did and... you like get out of that it's by figuring out what I like because I was like on the flip side I'm also not a partier I've 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 sat there and been like this is just not my cup of tea but yeah. a good concert all right. A good time with friends. I think by actually getting specific about what I've loved mm -hmm. and what I've resonated with, I think it's made me more excited to be like, oh, there's so much life to live. 